Okay, so um, tips on Aussie culture really quick. So if you took a job at, let's say, BP Oil just to pay the bills, you are already discriminated against because that's not your career choice. So we've got to work harder to overcome that, especially if you've worked there for a year or more, because you don't want to say you haven't worked in a year. You do want to say that you have worked, but maybe while you studied or um, while you waited for your visa. Um, but just be aware that Aussies will judge you based on your last job. So when I was a corporate services director and I was applying for new roles, nobody would um, call me back because I wanted a project management role, but I hadn't done that for a few years. Even though I had managed projects and my title was corporate services director, they weren't interested in that anymore. So I kind of had to reshape my resume and I had to do more networking to find those opportunities. Um, credibility is much more important nowadays. So people just listing all their skills is no longer going to cut it. You have to list your capabilities and your skills, but list examples of how you have those skills. Um, achievements are really important in your job history. If you've had a long, wonderful career, you can even put, I'm working with an executive right now where we're putting a lot of his awards and achievements that he's had over the years for, um, excelling in his sales departments. Um, and then asking good questions, which I talked about, and persistence. So, uh, you know, there's a, a rule that I give to my clients, which is kind of the three strike or three attack rule. So, you know, send them a LinkedIn invite, send them an email, send them a, or make a phone call. Three ways of contact actually starts to get your name in their mind and it moves you up the pile of resumes so that you can possibly get an interview. So persistence does pays off as long as you're polite and as long as you don't ask them to call you back. So if you leave a message, I will call you again later or in the email, I'll, I'll call you later this week. Um, so always put the action back on, on yourself so that they don't feel like you're demanding anything of them.